I think that it's a major achievement uh, just a few minutes ago that Tim Davey appeared on television, uh, gave a fairly frank interview and said that he apologised to licensed fee player payers uh, after a day of disruption about sports programming because of the uh, way that he uh, had responded to uh, Gary Lineker's tweet. He calls it a difficult day and says that success for me is getting Gary back on air and that um, he's absolutely not thinking about resigning but admitted that this has been a tough time for the BBC. In other words, he is thinking about resigning, but he's not going to. And uh, that he's... Uh, that the BBC is not pandering to any political party. Um, and that although uh, Gary Lineker had been asked to step back after getting involved in party political matters, um, he was going to review the impartiality agreement, uh, particularly for people who were not employed by the BBC but were freelancers like Gary Lineker. So I think all that strongly suggests uh, movement. What is more interesting is that the Prime Minister has also got involved in this debate and has pulled back from the uh, sort of viciousness of the Penny Mordaunts and the Suella Bravamans and the Lucy Frasers. Lucy Fraser, of course, should be doing her own job, um, and she could start by answering mail. Uh, but um, Suella Braverman, equally, she should do her own job rather than messing around trying to do somebody else's job. And Rishi Sunak quite rightly says, well, this is a matter for the BBC. Well, good. Good. He also says... Uh, that as the Prime Minister I have to do what I believe is right, respecting uh, that not everybody, uh, not everyone will always agree. That's why I've been unequivocal in my approach to stopping the boats. Well, I think it's interesting that he's recognised that not everybody will agree with that and that it is, therefore, therefore he has been forced to recognise that this is not uh, the priority for everyone, uh, that the priority for most people is the cost of living, the NHS, um, policing, and the issue about targeting the most vulnerable individuals in our society who are coming across the channel pleading for our help uh, and to penalise them, to criminalise them, rather than to uh, do the hard work, process their applications, find the traffickers, um, criminalise and uh, punish the traffickers and the smugglers rather than doing the hard work to get a cheap fix by punishing the people who are most visible, rather like punishing students, because they are well documented. That was Mrs May's approach, incidentally. Mrs May's approach was to target students because their documents were uh, so evident. So if somebody was, um, uh, through an error uh, of timing, was five pence or ten pence short, of the amount of money they said they had in the bank at the time when they made the application, maybe three or four weeks earlier, then, there, then that application was rejected and therefore they had to go through the whole process and spend even more money and often find that their academic um, career was interrupted for months while all this nonsense was processed by the Home Office. No, it's very good that the Prime Minister has recognised that we don't all agree with his current policies. That is a major achievement, and it's a major achievement to get the um, uh, BBC top executive to speak on record about Gary Lineker. I think this is a, an evening actually to celebrate progress.